Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to a special episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, I am in the server by myself today, and I will be building on my um, my wood sorter. But um, the reason I'm I'm kind of doing a solitary like by myself is because I, I needed to talk about something that's very serious that's happening right now. So um, we have two birds, two budgies. They are parakeets, and um, our blue one, his name's Turtle, he's been, uh, I don't know, Budgie's name's per Turtle, he has been not feeling so well um, for probably about two months. He's just been less active, not moving around so much, not not normal, uh, and today we went to his cage, and he wasn't able to balance himself. So he's fallen over, and he's unable to, to grasp onto his branch or his perches and stuff like that. Um, a lot of the questions that people are going to be asking are, what's going on? Is he sick? The answer is, we don't know. I think he's dying. Um, it's it's a normal sign. Like, one of the five signs that your, your budgie is getting old and about to die is his balance. Um, the other ones are his breathing, his... Um, his puke, it, it's its not really puke, it's the the chewed up seed that they spit out, um, stuff like that, and their poop. And from what I can tell, he isn't, he isn't drinking water on his own. He's not, you know, he was eating his seeds, but it wasn't like, I don't think he was doing it with purpose or intention. Like, I think it was just there. And he's a very aggressive bird. I don't know if it was something whenever we had first gotten him, or if it was something from the pet shop, but he was just a more aggressive budgie than I've seen in the past. Uh, I've had a lot of birds, a lot of budgies, and stuff like that, and one of the signs is they will die. Um, and I know that's that's a hard thing to understand for a lot of kids. Um, death is something that is natural. It's something that happens to everyone eventually and it should be something that we can talk about so I want to talk about it it's gonna be hard because I have a pet who is currently dying and we don't know like I don't know if he's going to be alive by the time this video releases he's currently inside a little box we gave him um, a little bit of seed in the side a little bit of water and put down um, a towel for him to like sleep on for tonight because he, he can't perch at all. So, um, slowly but surely, he is dying. Now, a lot of people would say, well, he's in, he's suffering, he's in a lot of pain. You should go ahead and, and put him down humanely. I don't believe that. I, I don't like the idea of putting down dogs. I don't like the idea of putting down animals. Like, if a dog or animal is supposed to die, let it die naturally. That's the way I feel. Um, there are certain situations where, like, my dog, Dobie, way back in the day, I was probably about nine, maybe ten, whenever he passed away, and he had been hit by a car, but had so much arthritis and so many broken bones and stuff in his tail, right, in, in his spine, that there was no recovering from it, and he was suffering every single day. It was, it was really bad. He couldn't even go out to go to the bathroom. So, I can understand in certain situations it's, it is more humane to, to put the dog down. But, I think you should do everything in your power to try and make your pet comfortable, which we have, and just let them pass naturally. This is, this is actually a really hard subject, for some reason. Um, when you purchase a pet, when you get a pet, a dog, a cat, a bird, fish, whatever the case may be, they will die. They're like, you will outlive them. Um, and one of the purpose, one of the purposes of having a pet for children is so they can experience a mild version of the loss because, oh, I already wrote that one. Um, you buy a pet so that when it dies, you can understand grief and stuff like that. Which 
It's a little messed up, but it's true. <sighs> I know, it's such a depressing topic, I'm so sorry. But I think we can talk through it. So um, if you could give a give a comment down below or give a heart, you don't have to, but just uh, comment if you've ever had a, a, a pet pass away, whether it's natural causes or non-natural causes. Um, I've had plenty of pets in the past and it helps to talk about it and just say what the story is. And hopefully, hopefully he was just a little tired today or maybe something happened and he got a little bit off balance or maybe his leg fell asleep. But from the way he's acting, I don't think that is the case. So I don't even know how many I'm supposed to buy of this. <laughs> You know what? I've got, I've got, I've got these. Uh, I need some straights. Let's go ahead and get some straights, and we'll uh, we'll just keep going here. I should be able to purchase two at a time. Come on, Tom. Hello, sir. Um, I didn't post a video yesterday, not out of like grief for the bird or anything like that, but to take time for myself because. I, uh, I shipped out a package, or I got a package ready for shipping, and then uh, I did a voiceover, and I, I did a whole bunch of other stuff yesterday that just kind of took it out of me. I got tired, so I can understand being tired. And every once in a while, you need to take some time for yourself just to relax, you know? I don't have to post every single day. I like posting every single day. It's something that I've... I've become accustomed to and if you are young and you're looking to start your own YouTube channel I highly encourage it um, I think it's one of the best jobs I've ever had also I think it's one of the most hardest jobs that I've ever had but it's the only job that I've ever had that success solely relies on me as a creator as a content creator like if my channel's doing good go me that was that was all me I, I can't blame it on well oh maybe the economy's bad or maybe the, there's just not enough interest or stuff like that and I, I love playing the blame game don't get me wrong I I would love to say oh well COVID-19 has got the the channel down in views and blah 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 no no that's not true at all um, COVID-19 has actually been really good for the channel because it's made people stay home and watch more YouTube. And that's that's a truth, but I don't want to attribute that that's, that's just it. Um, I would like to think that it's because I kind of split off my content into two different genres. One that's completely family friendly and another that's um, off on its own. I've seen a, a huge increase as to the the amount of views and subscribers on both channels since then, you know? Um, I work in a job uh, like my, my programming job today, and if the business is doing good, then I'm doing good, but I don't see any difference in it. If the business is doing bad, I'm doing bad but I don't see a difference in it. It's, it's the same whether the business does good or whether the business does bad, I'm salary based. So it's, it's all in how it's looked at, especially on YouTube. It's the only one where if I don't go to work, right? It's, it's evident. Like it's, it's on me. There's, there's no one else I can blame. I can't say, well, such and such took my shift or blah, blah, blah. It's very, very self-correcting. And the fans will let you know. <laughs> you didn't record today. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. I'm okay. I promise. Um, the budgie thing didn't happen until later on tonight. So. <sighs> the budgie thing. Uh, I don't need any turns. I should have plenty of turns up there. Let's go two more, and then I'll actually go and start building. Do you want to buy these? Yes, I'll do. Thank you. 
No, thank you. The other thing is I need to go and get uh, detectors and some logic from uh, Wood uh, from Link's logic. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Last two. Here we go. Good. So, um, a lot of people question what happens after we pass away. Where do we go? What happens to our thought, our soul, our stuff like that? I'm not going to get into that. If you want to discuss religion or something like that, discuss it with your parents, your priest, another adult, something like that. I won't get into the afterlife here, but we can definitely talk about death itself and how it affects you and how it affects you emotionally and how it affects you as um, physically as a person, you know? And you, you might not think about it like that, but um, when you lose a pet or when you lose a family member or when, oh gosh, why am I stuck? When something happens and you have to experience death, um, it's very emotional and it's emotionally draining, which can be, uh, be very physical on the body. Um, and people grieve in different ways. There's some people who could sit there and be like, your bird died? Oh, well, sorry, get another bird. That's fine. And that's one way that you can deal with it is complete just lack of empathy and it's not a lack of empathy it's how you feel about the, the animal um, when it comes to another human being especially a human being that you know it's a lot different as well um, I've had quite a few friends who have passed away in the past high school middle school Marine Corps and it does it affects you in the way that you think um, Sometimes it feels very futile, like there's, what's the point? You have so many accomplishments and things that you've done throughout your life, but then in the end, what did those do? Now, I hope I've made some kind of impact on the world. <laughs> I, would, I would love to think that I'm that big of an influencer, but at the same time, I know that my legacy um, doesn't lie in YouTube. It doesn't lie with um, with um, Twitch, Twitter, all these social medias. I might have some legacy that lives on there, but what mine is is in my kids. I hope that I've made them into better human beings, human beings, and that. I've given them enough knowledge to make good decisions throughout their life to leave a legacy in their future, you know? It's something that's very hard to talk about, and a lot of people don't talk about it, but very much it's an inevitable part of everyone's life that the entire world will experience at one point or another. So to logically sit there and think we are going to be immortal and that we'll live forever is a false logic. I don't like it, but it's true. I think that everyone should discuss and talk about death. So, that's why I say that this is a very special episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 and what we're talking about and the emotional states of like where I'm at and what's happening with our bird. I hope I haven't scared any of you off it is definitely something that should be discussed. Uh, and I've, I've touched on it just a little bit in the past, but not, not to the scale of what I'm doing tonight. I, uh, I'm making the entire subject completely about death. And something else is we, we see video games and we kind of portray that as like, oh, that's the way life is and even my son he has this concept of like well if you die then we'll just we'll, we re we'll, we'll resurrect you somehow or um, we we will genetically clone you somehow and that's because of what video games movies sci-fi YouTube has kind of 
conveyed into the mind of my child is that that's a real thing that we can do. It's not. We can't do that yet. I would love to think that we could just clone ourselves and take our consciousness and download it to the internet. It doesn't work like that. Now, there was another there was another movie that we were watching and um it's a comedy, but it's called like Uploaded or something like that. And I kind of have a problem with the movie or with the sitcom because uh in order to upload yourself, your consciousness to this afterlife, you have to completely destroy the head and download the memory. Now, I, I don't think that consciousness and my, like inside my head where I'm looking at right now, like out of my eyes, out of my body, I can feel my hands, this vessel that I'm inside. I truly think that like teleportation, you could take every single molecule and atom that's inside my body, explode it, pass it to a different location, implode it and put it all back together in the exact same configuration. I don't think my consciousness over there would be the same consciousness here. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense. Like I wouldn't be teleported. The moment that my particles were exploded, I believe that I would have died. That's just how I feel. I don't... I don't know. But I do know that I think, therefore I am, so that this consciousness that I'm inside behind my brain and everything, this might be way too deep that I'm getting into. Let's build something. <laughs> um, so whenever I see teleportation inside uh, movies and whenever I see... Stuff that's oh, oh I'm using the wrong one. Hold on, yeah, put that back in the box. I get a weird concept about it, and I know I'm not the only one that thinks that way, or the only one that's ever questioned that. But at the same time, you'd never be able to prove it, you know, because the moment you did teleport somebody like that, right, they would be thinking and talking over there, and you'd ask them, "Did you die?" And they'd be like, "No, I'm here." but that would just be the brain and stuff over there. I, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll keep going. Maybe I should drink some coffee. What do you think? Hold, hold on a second. Let me get some coffee in me. Ah, here we go. A little bit of coffee for my little bitty brain. A little brain tonight. No, actually, it's probably big brain, but... You know, I don't, I don't want to brag. I don't brag about my brain. That has more than enough room. I think we're good. So like, we could put a wood detector on, on this side. And then when it detects, it could just hit this and then pop it off right there. So, um, let's see here. Ooh, um, do I want to go up one more? Because if I build right now, it's only going to be one large. So let's do turn, rotate, like this. It's only going to be one large. And I won't be able to do a second level. I kind of want to have it be two larges, like that. Does it need to be that large? I think so. I think... Let's do that. Okay. So I need to take this back down. And we need to go up one more level. One more. And then I think we'll be... On top of the world, June! We're on top of the world! Come on. Let's do this. Move. Move down there. Let's do this. Move. Down over here. Because I'm going to need to move another one. There we go. And these were inclines, right? Yeah, that's an incline. Let's go turn, rotate. Oh, turn. Maybe. Um, which side is the handle on? There we go. And 
good. That brings it up one more. Should we go one more? Yeah, let's go one, one itty bitty one more. One, one more. Like that, there we go. That's good. Uh, then we can go two out, place one. Move. And come on. There we go. Good. All facing the same direction. Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> With like one foot. Because I had one foot on the conveyor and the other one was pointing to the sky. <clears throat> I'm free, but I'm grounded. <clears throat> That's one thing that never really happened too much to me whenever I was a, uh, a kid. I didn't get grounded a whole heck of a lot, you know? I, was, I guess you could say I was a pretty good kid, right? Maybe. You'd, you'd have to ask my dad if I was a good kid. Which, he'd probably tell you, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty good kid. Uh, I don't want to assume, though, so... <clears throat> Can you attach doors and stuff to that? Hold on a second. Hold on. Can we attach to that? Okay, let's hit B. Let's go back to um, blueprint. Tiny floor. No, it's still... It's just, it's too small to, okay, yeah, that's not going to work. I was thinking if, uh, if you, oh, destroy, <laughs> if you were to place something there, that's a 45 degree angle, so, technically, if you were able to build off of that, you could make bridges 45 degrees. I think it's with the, the build concept. It doesn't work. So, rotate, turn, rotate. Okay, that's not working. Rotate, turn, rotate, turn. We're upside down. Turn, turn. There we go. And that should be the right side. There we go. We're good. Okay. <clears throat> so now we can take this. Oops. This one, this one, move it on up, rotate, turn, rotate, and we're just going to line it up like this, should I, should I make it exactly like that? That seems too thin. Why does that seem too thin? Hold on. Let's do turn, rotate, turn. Probably because it is too thin. Okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Let's move this down here like that. And let's do this. Let's go to large tiles, turn, rotate. We'll go right here. Oh, come on. Why is that lifted? <laughs> oh, well. If it's lifted, does that mean it's like right in the way? It is. And it's one above. That's not what I want. It's not what I want at all. Uh, all right, move this down. There we go. 
there was a little bitty gap there. Two. Three. Now we can go back over here, large floor. Four. And I think I want these too wide. So, rotate, turn. Place two more. Um, but, okay, since these are touching the floor, then we go too wide, um, should I have these touching the floor? Yeah, let's, that's fine. Let's do, uh, turn, rotate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, there we go. So I stopped talking about death, that's good, right? <laughs> Uh, and again, I do apologize if um, anything I've said kind of hit way too close to home tonight, or if maybe you've got a loved one who's sick at the moment, or you've got a pet that just recently passed away, whatever the case may be. I do apologize about like bringing those emotions up and forward, but this is also, this is what I'm dealing with in my life at the moment, so I found it very relative to what we are talking about tonight. Let's go... Rotate, go one here, and one here. Oops, oopsie daisy. Okay, gonna move this down to the floor, don't we? No, I said down to the floor, dude, down to the floor. There we go. Looks good. So this first one, it'll just be made out of a uh, oak, but I'm gonna do this for the concept of like all of them. Do one, two, three, maybe four, come around and then do it down the other side. And we'll just kind of zigzag it around. Uh, and you know what, we, we might have fun with this and just go all the way back down this direction. Who knows? Well, we'll go with it. But what I do know, we're at 27 minutes, so it's probably not enough time to like do anything else. Um, I will do this, however. Let's do this. This will be fun. Um, because we are doing, um, it's, it should be oak first, right? So we can just take some oak trees, toss them in. That'll be good. Oh, and I noticed that my uh, my large piece of wood did not save. Oh, it did save. Oh my goodness. Um, Grammy was asking me about modded wood the other day, whenever we did the ball race. And uh, I showed her how to do the mod wood with the, um, the what's it, the, um, the wood drop off. Still works and that is a massive piece of wood over there, by the way. So, I forgot what I put these on. <laughs> so we could have some very large pieces of wood going through. I don't know. What? There we go. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, Toad, did you just catch that before it hit the ground? Yes, I did. Just because I got skills. Of course, I'm silly sometimes, but I do have some skills. Promise. There we go. <sighs> oh gosh, it's Friday too, isn't it? Oh, I apologize. I didn't mean to get you down on a Friday. That was not my intent. But uh, Oh well. C'est la vie, I guess. What will be, will be. Um, and I hope that you have a good rest of your Friday. I hope that you find some funny cat videos or you find something that makes you laugh and kind of forget about the times and forget about life for a second, you know, and take that moment to yourself to just relax and enjoy the day. Because we all know life can be pretty hard sometimes, especially for a parent, for uh, a kid, 
a grandparent. There's just certain things about the life that just suck, and it will be okay. You know, I know that whether the birdie dies or whether he um, gets healthy and comes back tomorrow, either way, it'll be okay. And our life will keep going and, you know, that's just how life works sometimes. Well, it started filling in most of it. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> now, I, I nowhere near needed this many pieces, especially since I've got the build power and I've got the bot build power, the gold power, I guess you call it, but build is done. <laughs> so let's go over here. I'll show you the big piece of wood, the, the mod wood real quick. This thing is insanity. Oh my gosh. This is one huge oak tree. That's it. Or not oak tree. This is one huge elm tree. The entire thing. Yes. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Like I said, death is something that we should be able to talk about and should be able to discuss and it should be okay um, to... I, I know that you might feel uncomfortable talking about it, but it's something that we should bring up at least once, if not a couple times, you know, and make it part of our every, everyday language of like speaking love to one another, you know? I love you guys. And I would hate for like my life to end shortly and not give you some kind of explanation of like how I believed my life was and what I intended for things, you know? And because the bird, it kind of put another like spin or another idea into my head that there could be a day where my life just ends. And we don't know if it's going to be in a car accident, if it's going to be natural causes, whatever the case may be. I want you guys to know, and I want my family to know, I love you, and I think the world of you guys, and thank you for, for bringing me here and, and giving me the opportunity to speak to you about this. I love you guys very much for that. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Drop me a comment, like, or wait, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things. I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber at the end of the day, <sighs> or at the end of, end of the video. And we'll talk to you soon. Outro.